Hi, I'm Rebecca. I'm one of the volunteers that look after our hounds on a livestock farm in Kent. I'll show you around. This is our kitchen and storeroom and the all-important blackboard. It shows how many hounds we have and where they all sleep. They're counted in couples or pairs. The first job is to check the puppies and feed them. They're seven weeks old and now spend time away from their mum, the dam. In a few more weeks they'll be old enough to go out to our puppy walkers to start their training. Now I need to move the rest of the hounds so I can start the cleaning. The dog hounds, the boys, and the bitches, the girls, live separately in their own runs. They can all mix together on one big yard while we're cleaning out. The solids must be picked up and cleared away. Throwing the old water onto the yards helps to lift any stubborn dirt. And then the buckets are cleaned and refilled. Now for the pressure washer. It's really important that the yards and lodges are kept clean and everywhere is washed down daily and regularly disinfected. The hounds sleep inside on raised beds and we use straw for the bedding to keep them warm and comfortable. Time to prepare the daily feed. We feed kibble or biscuit, just like you'd give your dog at home. And most of the hounds eat all together from these troughs. This is Pans and Weaver having their supper. They're in season, so must be kept separate from the rest of the pack. Now the rest of the pack can be fed. The hounds are very excited when they come into the feed yard, but they all settle down and eat politely, even though it looks a bit hectic. We keep an eye on them to make sure everybody gets enough to eat.
Hal Stowe and Hatchet have just come back from their puppy walker, and I need to teach them about couples. When they're on exercise, they'll be coupled to an experienced hound to show them the ropes. But for now, they're just getting used to them. Time for hound exercise. The hounds are loose, apart from any youngsters on couples. Control is mostly by voice commands, and they all respond to their names. I'm carrying a whip to use as an extension of my arm so I can show them where I want them, and sometimes to make a noise to grab their attention. When we're crossing roads or walking through livestock, they must stay close to me to keep safe. But in other areas, we can let them play. They love running and rolling. And some of them even go paddling. Although today is just a walk for exercise, we often take the hounds out trail hunting. This is an old sport dating back hundreds of years that has changed with time. The hounds now search for an artificial scent put down by our trail layer. It's usually done with a very smelly sock and the hounds know that their job is to follow the trail. It's really interesting to watch how the hounds work as a pack. We often stop for biscuit time. They have to listen out for their name to be called and then they know a biscuit is coming their way. Some hounds, like Vandal and Acorn, are very good at grabbing other people's biscuits, but they all get one in the end. Once we're back at kennels, the hounds must be sorted out and put back into the right lodges for the night. All hounds know their own names and whether they're a dog, a hound or a bitch. I've called the dog hounds to first. Come on, wealthy. Dog hounds, wealthy. Dog hounds, wealthy. Dog hounds, wealthy. If any bitches come through too soon, we pop them into the outside run till it's their turn. Dog, 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 dog. We double check we have the right number, and when we're happy, the dog hounds are let through into their own lodge for the night.
Once the bitches are in their lodge, that's everything done for the day and hounds can be left to settle down. Sometimes we'll hear them singing. Only happy hounds sing. And for those who love hounds, it's a joyous sound. If you see your local pack out and about at the shows over the summer, do come and say hello. The hounds would love to meet you. <laughs>